What's up? It's your boy Carcino back again. And let's talk about it. We did this on the Rope Adult Radio Show on Wednesday nights, around 8 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Eastern. But we talked about this already. But for those who may have missed the show, might have been fixing their hair or something, let me go ahead and tell you what the developments are. Um, everyone was asking about when is we going to see Errol Spence Jr. in a uh, step-up fight. You know, we need a step-up fight for Errol Spence Jr. When is he going to step up? Because it's time. Because people were like, man, this guy's the second coming. And he had a tough matchup and where he dominated the opponent. But he took a lot of punishment in doing so. And people were like, wait a minute. Maybe we crowned Errol Spence Jr. too soon. He might not be ready. We need to see him against tougher opposition. So, they upped the ante a little bit, and they're saying, well, how about Chris Algieri? You know, a fight with Chris Algieri would, uh, would really, you know, boost his stock. You know, Algieri's fought Manny Pacquiao, and since then, you know, he looked really good against Amir Khan. Um, and that seemed like, a, you know, a good start in the right direction. And I think, uh, what was it, Eric Algeria, his last fight, he beat uh, Eric Bone. It was a quick, a close fight, but based on his con performance, which I felt was better, and I think this will, this will be an interesting fight for Errol Spence. Because uh, Errol Spence, in his career so far, since I'm being pro, He's never fought anybody who was as conditioned as Algieri was. And what I mean by that is, I mean the fact that Chris Algieri is a nutritionist. He keeps himself in shape. He's not that good of a boxer to where there are certain flaws he makes in the ring, but he makes up for it with his athleticism. So, he's active. He doesn't give you time to think. He's not like these slow foot uh, Hispanic guys he's been fighting who's just, most of them have been out of shape. So it was kind of easy pickings for Spence to go to the body, set up his shots, and look pretty, you know, against these guys. This guy's going to give you angles. He's going to make it a, a, a rough night for you. So even if you're one of the best boxers in the world, Chris Algieri can give you fits because he's all over the place. He's never in a one-step position. So it's going to be an interesting fight. It's not going to just be some walk in the park for Errol Spence Jr. For those people who might be assuming that going right into the fight. Now, as usual, I always tell you other things that's going on. And, and that's not the only fight that's on that card. You know, they got the fight with Steve Cunningham, who's coming back off that draw he had against Antonio Tarver and we'll talk about that later. Right. Had to upload some information because there's a lot of stuff going down today. That wasn't going down yesterday. Uh y'all remember the guy, the Polish guy, what's his name? Christoph uh Glowowski? The guy who's undefeated, he's like got sixteen knockouts, he had that great fight against Marco Huck. That's who Cunningham's going to be fighting. And it's going to be an exciting fight because either guy could be hurt early. Uh, Cunningham, we know, runs out of gas after about six, seven rounds, but he's going to give you everything he got. So it's going to make for an exciting fight. So that's a co-feature on that card, and that's kicking off in April as well. So we're gonna we're gonna be loaded with boxing in the past couple of months. We, cause it's been kind of slow. It shouldn't have started to pick up. Everybody's setting and making their fights and getting in position. So the PBC is definitely in position. You know, with Porter and uh, what's his name leading the charge. 
with Porter and uh, Thurman. And I don't understand why people cheer to like try to disturb this fight not happening and stuff. But you know, that's the ignorance of people. When it's gone, they be crying. So in the Barclays Center for April 16th, it's going to be going down. Because, you know, they're not really making no money off the uh, Nets. <laughs> not like they're going to the playoffs. 